All right, guys, so I'm back. All right, we're gonna walk around. I'll get to that five by 10 mid range with the fridge box. We did line some models up here. I have one of each of our models. So starting out, the big guy, this is our highest end model. You got the five by nine extreme off road. So for those of you that may be new that don't really know our models yet, basically the extreme off road, this is basically our purpose built model. This one is gonna be able to pretty much go anywhere your tow vehicle can go. The suspension on this, it's really meant for those hard hits if you're looking to go over a lot of rocks, um, if you're going in those very, very rugged places. It's not the highest ground clearance that we offer, but with the shocks that it has on it, this is the one that's meant to be beat up and go anywhere with you. This does have some advantages to it that the other models won't. For those of you that have the extreme off-road, you'll know that on this model, the storage space it's kind of almost unlimited. Uh, probably gonna have more storage space than you could use. But this one does have that fridge box that we asked about that we're gonna see later on a five by 10 mid range. So inside here is completely open. Most people are gonna get a fridge slide put in here with one of the Dometic refrigerators, one of the powered ones that you can run on 12 volts. That way you got some cold food with you, some cold drinks. Also with the extreme off-road, you get the standard medium toolbox up here which is typically where people are going to house their batteries so that way it's not in the galley area in the back um, kind of frees up your space back there so this is the only model that has the option to get both of these storage options on it walking inside to it just to go in more detail with the storage we have this underfloor cargo pan here, opens up, goes all the way through to both sides. May not, the video may not do it justice, but this thing, the number one thing I hear during pickups is customers don't expect this thing to be as deep as it is when they see it. So lots of storage. Um, going along with it, 17 inch tires. So this guy sits up very, very high. Does come with two different lug patterns. Um, five on five lug pattern or six on five and a half. I know that's a big deal for some of you that want to try to match it to the lug pattern on your vehicles. That is the only two lug patterns we offer, but it works for some people. Um, also has the nice rugged uh, textured fenders now. These can be stood on. This whole frame is built to be stood on, built to be used. Going towards the back a little bit, this trailer is still a work in progress. It's still in the finishing stages, so it will be done shortly, but it does have a small slide out tray. This tray will get mounted underneath. You'll see one of the bigger ones here shortly, but a good option that you'll see vertical drawers, pretty popular. I see vertical drawers with this small slide out quite a bit. So again, storage options. These vertical drawers are going to allow you to, you know, store utensils, cooking supplies, anything small you may want to this customer here does have their battery in the back they did decide to leave it back here so they'll have their toolbox and their fridge box open for anything they see fit the other perk to the extreme off-road model is going to be this rear tire swing so this is the only model that you can get your rear tire mounted back here I have multiple around here that have the tire and stuff, but pretty easy to use on our other models. They either go on the front of the tongue or underneath. So this one's pretty easy to get on and off. Um, I think for this model, that's pretty much the basics. Um, just to kind of show you the difference of what this one does versus our next model, which is gonna be our newest one that we've brought into the hiker family. This is gonna be the mid-range XL off-road. So this model is actually going to be the one that offers you the most ground clearance. So if you're looking to go places that you need that clearance, this is it. Um, this sits on a 3,500 pound torsion axle. So your extreme off-road sits with a straight axle on it with leaf springs. The torsion axle here is raised up. It's almost an axleless suspension, but huge ground clearance advantage. And it's still a pretty smooth ride when you're going onto those off-road, you know, paths. 
extreme off-road gives you just a little bit more. We are working on making these fenders able to be load-bearing. As of right now, they're not, but new models, new features and stuff coming. We'll talk about that later. The big thing with this model, aside from the ground clearance, is gonna be the highway and the mid-range deluxe. You're not able to get water tanks on them. Um, this one, you can get it on a nine foot or 10 foot. You can get a whole hot water setup. So that way, you know, when you're out and about on the off roads, um, you can take a shower, have hot water instantly. If you just want some fresh water, you can get a 21 gallon tank mounted underneath. And again, another fridge box. So this model does have the advantage of that. Um, our highway model is one that can't have the fridge box, but Again, you'll see the extreme off-road again is the only one that can get that added toolbox onto the front. This model here also does have a solar panel on it. I know that's huge for a lot of our customers. They love seeing the solar option. Um, we will get more in detail of what solar does for you and all the different battery options and what they're meant for and how they're gonna last for you. So this is our other model, the other mid-range. So this one is called a mid-range deluxe. This is by far our most popular model. This guy here in a nine foot trailer, this is your number one seller. This is what a lot of people get because it gives you that capability to still do some moderate off-roading. Um, well. All right, looks like I have another question come in. So we'll answer that in just a second. The mid-range does not have, I, I guess I forgot to mention, the XL has a built-in two-inch lift kit on the frame itself, which is why it sits up so high. The mid-range deluxe does not have that lift kit, so it's on a slightly smaller tire with the 15-inch rim versus the 16 on the XL. So a little less ground clearance, but still gives you some nice moderate off-roading. This here does have our extra large toolbox. So we have a few different storage options on the front. Fridge box and extra large toolbox are gonna to be the ones that offer you the most. And as you can see with this customer setup, they do have the battery, they have an inverter, they have electric brakes. All of this is stored up in their toolbox, still a bunch of storage space inside there. But now they have their entire galley free to store whatever they like back there. I mean, with all this storage in here, you can still store camping chairs or whatever you might want to up in here. This does have one of our doors with the windows in it. Popular option. If you're somebody that likes to have a lot of light, you know, you like to see those, you know, sunrises, sunsets from your camper, having windows in your doors plus the ones out on the side, it's a great option. Do want to give a shout out. 230, 270 awning on top. Great partner with us. Definitely one of our, I'd say our most popular awning. Full coverage over your passenger side of your trailer along with the galley area. Keep you out of the sun. Help with some of that light rain that might come through on you. Walking to the back, you're gonna see some of the different galley options as we go. And you know, that's one thing that as we're going through this um, in the chat, if you wanna see some things, you know, even while I'm sitting over there, we can have our uh, customer service person, Danielle, that's walking around with us. She'll walk around and show you some of the different options because that's a huge question. I know a lot of people want to see the different galley options. Um, this one does have a 24 inch deep galley. It's standard 17. So they've extended their galley. Gives you, again, more storage space. You do lose some of that cabin space, but this will still easily fit a queen size bed for you. So no worries there. You will still sleep comfortably. Let's see what this question was before we move on to the highway. The coupler height of a mid-range. So with this guy leveled out, you're gonna be looking about 16 inches when it's level. Now, with that, we do say that, you know, you do have three to four inches of wiggle room, especially if you have one of the articulating hitches, like a max coupler or a lock and roll. And we can talk more about those as well. Um, but 16 inches, that's what you're looking for. Total height of this trailer with this awning on it. Right now, 
it's with the awning with the roof rack bars and everything it's sitting about 81 inches off of the ground so most people their garage clearance typically 80 maybe 82 so for most garages you can probably still fit this in if your garage is a little shorter this awning is not super hard to take on and off if you need to so if ground clearance or if uh, height is an issue for you you have some ways to mitigate that take it down a little bit um all right i think that is the questions we had for now so we'll move on to our last model our entry level model so with this model this is our highway deluxe so again entry level this is the one for those of you that do a lot of campsite camping but you just want to get out of that tent you know you want somewhere that's a lot warmer dry a lot easier to get up and down out of so with this model again it's recommended for normally campsites this can do some light off-roading such as you know some dirt paths gravel roads things like that but nothing like what the mid-range and higher can do for you uh, this model this setup right here pretty basic no toolbox on the front they can add you know you can add whatever you want here so I'm assuming that this customer probably has some of their own ideas which is a great thing with our trailers they're easy for you folks to customize once you have them at home I know some of you are very handy so you like to do a lot of your own stuff which is what's great about us you know we offer that flexibility we start very basic and customers can get everything they want or they can just get the entry level and you can do whatever you want because some of our customers already have a lot of their own gear so I think that's one thing that really sets us apart from the other competition. This model, it just has a straight awning on it from Rhino Rack. Um, this is one of the Sun Seeker models. So this one's just gonna come straight out, give you some coverage to Senator, get you out of the sunlight. Does have some different lighting options inside. Um, one of the newer features that we have are the reading lights. We have some setups that can show you all the different lighting. Uh, if you have questions about it, you know, we can show you those again, show you different cabin options, stuff like that. This model right now, again, just so I can show you another galley option. This is a pretty standard setup, 17 inch deep, open through to the cabin wall at the bottom, open up top to where you just have some cubby holes. So that way you can reach in and out, you know, you want to put some snacks up here on the top shelf. That way in the middle of the night, if you get snacky like I do, you just reach up there and grab you something. They have put their battery back here in the back since they don't have a toolbox. Um, they do have their inverter as well. I know that's big for a lot of people, especially if you have a CPAP. So I think for the most part, that kind of wraps up the basic differences in the models. If you guys have other questions, more technical questions, just throw them in the chat. Bob and I will answer them to the best of our ability. Um, we should have all the answers for you. So I'm going to head back over, meet up with Bob. So I'll see you guys in a minute.